Hi, this is Chris. Today I will show you how you can publish your sensor data in Bluemix in the IBM Cloud. I will publish the information about the temperature and level of light in my room and then I will show you how to visualize that data in real time. This video builds on my previous video called Internet of Things Published Sensor Data. So please check that out for details. Just as in that video, I will be using temperature and light sensors and publish the data on an MQTT broker. The difference is that this time I'm publishing to Bluemix, which is in the IBM cloud. All the hardware that you need to perform this lab is, is the same as in the previous video, so please check that out. The Arduino code or sketch looks like this. And after the initial includes, Constants for the two analog input pins are defined on lines 4 and 5. The MQTT client object is defined and created on lines 6 and 7, followed by the declaration of a number of variables on line 8 to 12. In the setup, we initialize the bridge on line 16, and then connect the MQTT client to the server on line 17. Make sure you, that you replace the 12 zeros with the MAC address in lowercase of the Arduino network card. The eternal loop starts by checking if a 5 second interval has passed, and if so, reads the value from the temperature sensor on line 25. Since that value is a raw value between 0 and 1023, it needs to be converted to a temperature using a formula on lines 26 to 28 and then the temperature is added to the payload on line 29. The light sensor value is read on line 30 and added to the published data on line 31, and then the data is published to the MQTT broker on line 32 to 33. When you have compiled and uploaded the code to the Arduino, it starts publishing data to Bluemix. And to see that data in real time, you can browse to the URL at the top. Again, make sure that you replace the zeros with the MAC address of your network card. And as you can see at the bottom, you can choose to see either of the two published sensors data. The service that provides this functionality, the Internet of Things Foundation, can also store historic data and can make it available through a secure API. And that's how you can publish your sensor data to Bluemix and then see it in real time. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.